forecast. Yeah, yesterday I know was great. I saw a lot of folks out even in shorts enjoying the day. Today you're going to need to switch your wardrobe back just a little bit. This morning we're seeing a few clouds again and as we start the day today just a few thin clouds out there to begin but we'll get some breaks in the clouds. We'll see a little sunshine today that's going to help us out. Currently this morning temperatures are in the 40s but the way that it feels right now across the entire area is like the 30s because we do have that wind coming into play. It's coming in out of the northeast right now at around 10 to 15 miles per hour. So with temperatures in the upper 40s, our winds actually making it feel even colder and it's going to be a little breezy today. These are sustained winds through the, the evening hours at around 15 miles per hour. They'll lighten some in the overnight, but again, a gentle breeze even through the overnight hours. So as you head out the door today, what I would say is you probably are going to want to grab a jacket to begin. Decreasing clouds come in the afternoon and our high gets to a seasonable level around that 50 degree mark is where we should be for this time of the year and that's where we're going to end up today. So it's not bitter cold. It's just a lot colder than 70, which is, you know, where we ended up yesterday afternoon. Now again, you can see some of those clouds returning. So this is later this afternoon after we get the break clouds quickly roll back in. There's a little weak disturbance and by tomorrow morning this thing may try to touch on some of our southwestern counties. It's not expected to be a big weather maker for us though. As we go into Thursday night though and Friday morning here comes another system. This one I think has the potential to bring a little light rain Thursday night and into early Friday before it quickly exits. Then Saturday night and into Sunday we've got yet another system on the heels of that and temperatures are going to get a little cooler for the weekend. So we'll keep an eye on this precipitation as it tracks through early Sunday morning. We may end up with a little snow mixing in for some folks as we get into that Sunday morning window and then colder air set to follow. I think even colder as we get into early next week. We are looking at that trend mid month. Nothing has changed with the story we've been telling you for a while, which is that sort of below normal pattern for us through the middle of the month of March. Today's temperatures are actually closer to seasonable. Yesterday was a gift from Mother Nature. Today we're back to reality. We will see some sun this afternoon, so that'll be nice. A little breezy, a little cooler for sure. Tonight, overnight lows get back down into the 30s. Once again, that's closer to normal. We should be around that freezing mark tomorrow morning. We'll be there, if not slightly above. We'll be dry, I think, Wednesday for much of the valley, though some clouds around. Thursday as well, but by Thursday night into early Friday morning, maybe a few light showers, dry and cooler to start the weekend as you see. And on Sunday morning, we're timing out what could be a round of precipitation and because temperatures will be down near that freezing mark by early Sunday morning, I wouldn't be shocked maybe to see some snowflakes mixing in. Again, not a big deal. Just a reminder that well, you know, February was also a gift for Mother Nature <laughs> because March is turning out to be cooler than average. We've had so many nice weekends that I feel like we were bound for a kind of a gloomy day. Yeah, eventually. and it's not even that bad. I mean, no. it could be a foot of snow, I mean, but yeah. it's not. No, so. and temperatures this weekend, while cooler than average, are still, you know, upper 40s is not horrible. No, yeah. Yeah. we've I'm, seen a lot worse. Yeah, I'm starting to lose my voice, that up and down kind of thing. I think having to, you know, I know a lot, a lot of, people of people are probably mm -hmm. clearing their throats <laughs> a lot yeah. today, too. 70 degree days followed by, you know, 48 does have a little bit of yeah. a problem. Yeah, what are you going to do? <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Hope you Julie. feel better. Thanks. All right. Yeah. Thanks. We'll still